Welcome to MMA FanCast. My name's Luke, and I am honored to be joined by first-time guest, Shaq Terry. Shaq, welcome to the show. Hey, hey, hey. How y'all doing? I'm doing really well. It's great having you on the show. It's always nice to have a first-time guest on the show. Um, you are kind of in an exciting position. You're 1-0 in amateur MMA. You had a knockout in February as your debut, and... Uh, we also want to talk about 247 uh, Fighting Championship. They have fight Flood City Fight Night 2 coming up two weeks from right now, uh, May 14th, um, out there in Johnstown at the first summit, Cambria War Memorial. So a lot to cover. Let's first talk about what got you into MMA and just how good of a feeling it was to get a first round knockout in your debut. Okay. Yeah, when I first started in MMA, I came in about 11 months ago. Um, I, I started, I was wrestling back in high school, but I ain't really never really did any, no type of boxing. Mm. But I was really interested in getting into it, so I jumped straight in. And then once I got um, got to the training, my coach had told me if I do eight months of training, he had scheduled me for a fight. So I did eight months, and he scheduled me for one. And I got a big knockout on the first one. Super excited. Super excited about it. That's got to be exciting. And then I just been really, like, excited to get back into the ring because it was kind of quick. And I've been kind of just ready to get back and showcase my skills and get myself out there. Well, and, and May 14th is basically two months removed from your first fight, so you're still taking fights at a good clip, which is nice. Talk a little bit more about your coach and the gym you train out of. We always want to uh, let the MMA community know of good gyms, and one of the fun parts about interviewing amateurs is a lot of times they're training at gyms that aren't as well known, and I think that's kind of the exciting part about fighters coming up through the sport. Yes. Well, I started off at True Fighter. That was my first gym I started at, and then I ended up at 475 Elite Training, and that's where I'm at currently now. I'm there with a boxing coach. He's, he's really a boxing coach. He's, he's really a lot on my striking, and mm -hmm. I've been going to a lot of other gyms and getting in my rolling and my jits. Just about different other people I know around our community. Well, I think that's uh, uh, a testimony to how much effort you're putting in and also um, a big thank you to all the local people that you're rolling with and doing jits with. I've always been surprised in the MMA community how many people uh, do training in somebody's garage or somebody's whatever. Like it, it really does. You get a lot of working with people that are willing to put that effort in, which is great. Um, you said you wrestled in high school. So which has been the... Which has been more fun, learning jits to kind of put on your wrestling or learning the striking, which is completely new to you or was completely new to you? Learning the striking. Yeah. I love to strike. I love the stand-up game. I love to kick. I love to punch. I love everything about striking. And I love the, I love that I have rest, the wrestling background is because it stops people from I can stop people from taking me down and I get to play the strike, get to play the striking match. Yeah, I mean, I know this is an old name in UFC MMA now, but Chuck the Iceman Liddell was actually a really good wrestler in high school and college. We didn't really see that because just like you, uh, obviously, he was a monster striker and would use his wrestling in reverse meaning to keep it standing and then obviously we've seen wrestlers who wanted to take it to the ground and that's exciting too but it is always a secret weapon when a wrestler has incredible stand-up and uses wrestling to keep it there so uh, you're definitely heading in the right direction what do you want to see out of yourself you're making the the trip in the drive in this is coming into enemy territory what do you want to see out of yourself as far as uh may 14th flood city fight night two um, I just want to go out there and put on a good show. Support my, um, be, make my family be proud of me and be, and, um, get my name out there. That's really all. 
Well, and, and hopefully doing this interview helps people check it out a little bit. Hopefully it gets a lot of shares and likes on social media so people can kind of find out more about you. It's always exciting um, at any level of MMA, you know, 247 Fighting Championship has been a great place for people brand new in MMA and then also legends who are either headed to the UFC or Bellator or even coming back from UFC and Bellator. So um, it's definitely a great promotion. It's going to get you a lot of exposure. Um, I would think about, about how many hours away are you from Johnstown? Are people going to be driving in to see you? Or you think there'll be mainly pay-per-views for your friends? Yes, I'm going to have some family with me and, and I don't have a lot of family back home watching. Well, that's that's real. That's really great. Um, obviously, I think it's important that, that people are willing to make the trip and support you. And it's always great to buy tickets from local fighters, but it's also great to buy tickets through pay-per-view. And, and that'll give them an option to click you as the reason why they're getting the pay-per-view. That's still great. Um, just talk a little bit about what it was like to have your corners, your coaches there. I know they didn't actually corner you much because they never got to the first break. Um, but what was that whole process like? It's a little different than the wrestling. You know, the, the corners are a little bit different. So what was it like warming up and making the walk and, and having your corners be there for you, even though you didn't actually make it to the first round of needing them to give you advice? Man, I put all my trust into my corners. Everything. They see everything. I train with them every day. They know how I am. They know they see how I react to stuff. And they they just know they just know me. So I put my trust all into them. I listen and just go out and listen to them. And it gets me results. Well, you sound like you have the perfect attitude as an athlete, particularly somebody newer to the sport, recognizing that your coaches know. Um, your your abilities, your weaknesses. Sometimes they, they have to make adjustments in a fight. Um, if you keep knocking people out quickly, they won't have to do much. But at some point, your coaches are going to have to be able to give you those mid mid fight, mid round adjustments. And that'll be something we could talk about um, when I have you back on the show. As far as like what's that like when they have to tell you something in the middle of the rounds. But it's been yeah. great getting to know you a little bit, Shaq. Can't wait to see what you can do for. Uh, for yourself and to represent your gym there may 14th there's still time for people to get either pay-per-view or tickets to make the trip and so thanks so much for coming on the show can't wait to see what you can do at flood city fight night two for 247 fighting championships thank you so much i appreciate you for giving me this opportunity i appreciate you for jumping on and talking a little bit about what makes shack uh, special and exciting, and uh, you sound like a very exciting fighter, and best wishes to you, best skills to you in your upcoming fight and and uh, what you're doing in MMA. Thank you, thank you. May 14, I'm coming, I'm coming. There you, there you go. All right, have a good one. Thanks a lot. You too, enjoy your day. All right, thank you. Same to you.